One of the things my research shows is that we've been thinking about questions about security, about AI, about our lives with technology for a good 3,000 years. We are connected as social animals to all the technology around us. And so those of us who work in socio-technical research are really emphasising that connection, that technology isn't separate from society and from people. It's, it's part of our everyday lived experience. So in the Homeric epics, 3,000 years old, we have autonomous vehicles, we have um, robots and AI living in people's houses. I say people, mostly gods and uh, the elite. But what's really fascinating about these stories is that people are anxious about what this technology might ultimately do to harm them. Why is it that those AI in the ancient world were female? Why were they treated as domestic servants? And why is it that in the 21st century, in our homes, we have Alexa, we have Siri? Why are these supportive AI systems also gendered and gendered feminine? We'll know we've moved the dial on this when researchers aren't just thinking about tech-based solutions only. They're thinking about how technology, our society and people work together to keep us all safe online.